being real, he's this is fine. He's like okay, you know, ultimately. But we all gonna be jumping to game one. Okay, Ness on a by flat stage. You already know what's gonna happen. Double jump cancel, PK fires all over the place. Good respect for him, Sigup, knowing that you can't really punish that down immediately. Um, gets a floater into the up tilt. Fantastic pressure. This is the kind of juggling that Miso Fighter really excels uh, against Ness. Got the tornado scooping up just below the ledge. That is one of the more attractive things to be able to do, especially if you're trying to catch Ness in recovery. I mean, yep. if you're not able to just get rid of the, the PK Thunderball uh, right then and there, I have fond memories of that pocketing in his villager, but uh, certainly if you're able to scoop him out of the ledge. I like the choice to go through this up B instead of like the spinning one, because this one is exceptionally difficult to punish that ledge. You can't really yo-yo it, but you can use the hitbox to interact with the PK5. So it goes through like a tech roll in weed with the down, it did not find it successfully, mashed on the way down. That side B was unsafe that up close. And now the question is, how do you get this ledge trap? Uh-oh, you're Ooh. not getting those yo-yos. We talked about it, I did just now. You can't get those on that up B. Oh. Hindsight is going to fall, uh fall behind here at Syrup. Maybe not an unexpected development, but also certainly Gets some point you're getting hit by the PK Flash. That's never good for the morale. Not at all. PK Flash can combo into down a, but I don't think Syrup will hop in time. It also might have been out of percent. Did a little bit too much knockback, but that is A-OK. -okay. Syrup makes it back onto the stage. Looks for the double jump cancel PK Fire. This is it. Goodbye, you stock. Yeah. GG's. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, you're... Oh, you you're, saved you're, him. Wait a second. No, you did Oh, wait. Beautiful. Millie said, unbelievable. Syrup saying, get back here so I can kill you at 149. There is no, there is nothing that will satiate the bloodlust of this mess. Oh, but that, yo, that spike, that stage spike is brutal. That wind box on it, the auto link angles, that thing sends you for lying. So it could definitely catch somebody unsuspecting. Excellent neutral B into the up the Mii Swagged Fighting Classic, the BNB, the hit confirm. Hindsight, this. I mean, this valiantly fighting uh, B Sword Fighter from the state of Connecticut, trying the best against Jersey's premier Ness, a state that knows this character all too well. But Goodbye. goodness gracious, are they relearning it again? Syrup learning the lesson, not saving him this time. Going to take the win with yeah. grace, and I have to say, with relative ease. Yeah, that was an excellent adaptation from Syrup in the beginning. He uh, got punished on the yo-yo once, and he was like, okay, I'm not going to go for this option again. He instead went for the double jump cancel, PK fighters off stage. He was able to drop off, get some of those floaters, and that's exactly the kind of edge guarding you need against me, so fighting. The reality is, he does not have recovery options besides up B and then down B to maybe stall his descent a little teeny tiny bit. He's not also not fast at all. So you can definitely get the all up in his face when he's going after them that deep. Um, and you can basically get unpunished for it. If you're always outside of that up B range and you're not afraid of him immediately pulling the trigger on it, well, congratulations, you got your floater off stage. And Sigup was able to get two really solid edge guards as a result. It's that kind of technique that led Syrup to being first out of 250, over 250 entrants. At, the, at save point, the Pennsylvania State Championship going undefeated, beating names like Yoda Cage, Suarez, and Jen in grand finals. And not like Hindsight doesn't have uh, their share of decent results. In fact, beating Sword, the Palutena uh, from Maine that did so yeah. well last night, beating uh, beating Palutena by a score of 2 0 in order to get here. And a Sword Fighter versus Palu, that is not easy, but mm -hmm. can't imagine this is much easier. Wasn't able to get the down smash right now. Syrup able to get the out of shield option. Looking for the jab lock. Did not find it. He goes through the preemptive down tilt. How little end lag it has. It allows you to continue the tech chase. With really slow like tech rolls. Like tech roll out and in. You can actually with a down tilt. Be like, oh wait, I didn't jab lock you. And still have enough time to punish. With either dash attack or forward. But already Syrup. Damage. Output. Oh my god. So you did mention that John Numbers would play this character against you as Syrup is going to take a stock lead here, and only suffering 37 percentage points worth of damage. What did you find John Numbers uh, doing the most against Camping. you in this matchup? Camping. And, you know, that's, that's about it, right? But that's so uh, well, difficult I mean, because yeah, of Syrup's but... like openings. You got to use that chalk room though. That is a mess off stage. I do think that was a little bit too much respect. But excellent tornado though. One chalk room. That's exactly what you can do against Ness. He is not fast. Yes, he has excellent air acceleration, but he does not have decent air speed. Additionally, him being a floaty means he can't go up or down all that often. 
So Sigup's only option in that position is to go for the immediate air dodge. Good wake up uh, delayed option though. Drum hindsight makes it back on with the cross up with the up B, but not enough to cross up past an S back A. That move is huge. Hindsight at this point going to get hit with the uh, going to get hit with the yo yo upon rolling in. Going to be able to use the reflectors relatively well. I mean, there's only so much that you can do. Okay, gets that neutrally. He has to go for the down tilt, but that is a floaty, so he is going to opt to go for like higher options. Ooh. Excellent stage spike. Nasty position to be in, and you oh. can go through those. Excellent idea, but alas, doesn't get it. Yeah, I mean, you have to respect the effort, but mm -hmm. ultimately, uh, the result is not there. Yeah, the biggest thing, though, if you want to punish the early upbeat, you go to Ness. If you want to punish it after he already hits himself, you go to the ledge. Hindsight was a little bit too late, but what was that offstage situation? Still uh, getting that spike. Now it's going to be up two up. That was a zero to death, my good friend. And my goodness, Syrup out here catching bodies left and right. I mean, again, this is a this is someone who, even when they find themselves in an unfavorable situation, like I'll actually recall uh, Kingdom just a uh, just over this past week, where you. Uh, Find up, wind up uh, losing to Unknown, who's a very good player from the yeah. state of New Jersey, and then just rattling off seven straight wins in order to get to uh, in order to get to grands and then resetting, and then you beat Delta Force by a score of six nil. So yeah, Delta Force one of the better links in Jersey. Well, you think that a me sword fighter is going to stand a chance? Mm -hmm. uh, all the respect in the world to Hindsight, who has done a wonderful job to get to this point and with some pretty decent wins. But at some point, you gotta wonder, I mean, is this, uh, like, how much do you, are you questioning your game plan? Yeah, absolutely. So, they will be going on to a game three. I think uh, Hindsight has started to pick up on some of the ways that Sirup wants to get back onto the stage. Excellent chalk group snipes. Now I just want to see them slow the game down, but Hindsight is jumping in, looking for that jump call out. One up tilt. I like the idea for the chalk room. I would have preferred the fast one. Yeah, I was kind of curious about that. I mean, obviously you want to be able to speed, uh, control the pace of the chakra and try to question it, but if you're Ness, does that even matter to you all yeah. that much? Uh, not all that much. You know, Ness can, Ness can be tricky to catch on the landings, yeah? But okay, gets that down and gets a good wait. Ness cannot actually go up far enough to punish that uh, immediate spike, so he baited and waited and was able to punish the air dodge instead of the immediate punish. And now, sitting at 149, you're gonna get caught by that dash attack eventually, and certainly on the shortest stadium, on the shortest ceiling in the legal rule set here at this tournament, you're going to get caught and uh, hit pretty hard. And again, the efficiency that we are seeing from Syrup does not allow himself to get hit all that hard all that often. Ooh, good, good little comeback stop. here from hindsight, but again, you're still playing from behind. You can it. make it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hindsight, the metal being tested of this kid. So if went for a little vibe check in the form of that F smash, the reality is because of how little end lag Tornado has at that distance, he can knock it back at you, punish you in the end lag of your F smash, and then hit an even bigger punish. I don't typically recommend reflecting Tornado for that reason. But now Syrup is stuck at the ledge. This is the most challenging place to be. Gets one F tilt, up tilt, still stuck in the corner, jumps between a V Sword Fighter and a Chalk Room. One PK fire, two PK fires, and then that's that hitbox under the stage. Up B is no joke. Up B is really dangerous. The winner of this one, it should be noted, is going to go on to face off against PK Chris, which uh, will also be on stream. It's beating Hungrybox. Good for him. Yeah. But no, this is uh, Syrup trying to confirm the advantage he clearly has, not just in this game, but on the scoreboard as Hindsight is taken down to their winner's side stock. Yeah, that was, that was pretty unsafe. But I like that Syrup just goes through the after a bit of stage control. That hitbox, nice and safe, but not a whole lot you're going to be able to do about that. Backing off a little bit, playing it slowly, slowing down the pace of the game. No down throw up in, still gets the air dodge punish, weak hit into the strong hit. It can be so tricky to land against me, so I'm fighting, especially if you don't have a lot of air speed and you are a floaty. He can track you, he can shark you, he smells blood. I have to say, hindsight, you got to give oh, all up, the credit up, in the up. world. Are you getting jab locked into the PK fire? But Syrup didn't dash in before he PK fired. He didn't get the sweet spot. As a result, Misori Fighter was just able to hold out. Oh! Nasty stage spike. Oh, tries to go through the reversal to, uh, you know, mix up Syrup. I like the idea. That was a tech situation. Syrup not able to find it there. Although, uh, really, maybe a little bit of distance from a Misori Fighter getting a little button happy. It could have been, uh, been the play. Sitting at 125. Ugh. So close. 
to getting this one game off of Syrup. That he could waits, be... he has it, and then doesn't fully commit. Hindsight had the right idea. So, so close. And now Syrup pressing that back here like there is no tomorrow. Oh, no. There is no tomorrow. You had to go for it, and eventually you go 